Hello everybody and welcome to the collecting uh, channel. This is where we chat about all my collections and all sorts of stuff. Now, I do want to apologise real quick about the lack of content on this channel. It, there's literally been weeks between videos, but that is now all going to change. Over the course of August, it was the summer holidays, and I had plenty of time to figure out a solid rotor for all of my channels, because this is one of many. So I can apparently say that there will be a collectible type of video on this channel every single Thursday. So now you know, Thursdays is where we're going to dive into all sorts of collectible stuff. Now here's uh, my second point I really want to quickly make. I want to dive into discussion videos, including showing off my collection, which I do have a somewhat collections in different things, comic books, video games, Blu-rays, Funko Pops, action figures, plushies, all sorts of stuff. But there's also types of things where I want to discuss and talk about, you know, retro toys and figures that we had as kids, Funko Pops that should already be existing by now, but aren't a thing, you know, etc, etc. And so some of these videos are going to be like this, where I showcase a whole bunch of stuff, or showcase a specific one item, something on those lines. But other videos might just be me sat down talking to you guys about, you know, these, uh, sat down and talking about, just, well, Collecting. Collectibles. You know? So that being said, let's dive into today's haul. On the 11th of August of this year, 2024, I went to my second Comic-Con in Newport, as ICC uh, Comic-Con. I met David Jost, Amy Jo Johnson and Stephen Amell. Fantastic. Got photos of them. It was all very good. We did a vlog about that on the vlogging channel. And I managed to get myself some goodies, and I want to show them off to you. I know it's over a whole month since August, but I've been busy. <laughs> Let's start off with the Funko Pops real quick. This is uh, Daisy Duck number 1192 of the Mickey and Friends collection. This is actually my fiance's. She uh, really wanted Daisy Duck. She's so, like, absolutely effing adorable. Um, I will say that. I mean, the sun... Damn, son. Hold on, let's see if I can move you over here. Can I, can I put you over here? Aha. Better. So yeah, this is Daisy Duck. She's really cool. This is my fiance's. She's like in a, like, girly pose. Okay, second Funko Pop. This is mine. Um, it was actually, my fiance wanted to get this for me as a birthday present, but it was really expensive on Amazon. And she didn't know how to write the Funko Pop website. In Comic Con, this was actually really cheap. So I got Lucario to join my Pokemon collection. It's really cool. Really love it. It's absolutely awesome. The Pokemon ones don't have anything on the back, if you've noticed. Like, here's the Daisy Duck one. See what I mean? It's really strange, right? This one's just me. But anyway, Lucario looks really awesome. He's in like this really cool fighting pose with a palm out, ready to strike. Really, really dope. Okay, so, how I bring the bag closer. <laughs> like, this bag is big, girl. Okay, so, let's dive in with some plushies. I got myself a Sneasel. Sneasel. He is so cute and like so cuddly. And like, he sits down. You're like, he's just so chill. He's got the nice big claws. Obviously, he's got the one ear, which is different to his normal ear, which is weird. He's got his little uh, ass fingers. And, uh, yeah. He's cool. I really like Sneasel. Uh, the second plushie, which my son also has. Me and my son both have one of them. Wobba Fett! Wobba Fett is absolutely awesome. I just love this guy. He's so cool. Um, he does have eyes on his tail. But these... Taps the tail here. Now my son's one actually broke. It just, he was playing with it and it fell off. So they're not tied together that great. But yeah, so we have a Wobble Fett. Really awesome. He's nice and big as well. Look, he's like big on my head. It's great. Absolutely awesome. I love it. Okay, so the next two things I want to show you guys. I was just going to get one, but this guy who was selling them kind of like gave me a deal because I was like really hyped for it. So the one that I was going to get is a Hinata figure. Check this out, yo. This is so sick. So clean. 
just absolutely love it. Um, just this is beautiful, honestly, absolutely phenomenal, man. So good. And then because I was really like, he gave me a deal. Um, the tag says nineteen ninety nine, but I actually got this one half price, and that is Rock Lee. Also, really cool. The stance in this thing is awesome. I don't think they're posable. They don't look posable. If they are, that's nuts. I can't read any of the writing. It's all in Japanese. Um, but yeah, so Rock Lee. Very cool. You can also get a Naruto, but I didn't really like the way they designed him. Like, yeah, it's really strange. So I got a Rock Lee. Um, let's see. Going off of Naruto, uh, there's a couple of things I have. I have this very nice box. As you can see here. Very pretty box. Honestly, this box is so smooth, so clean, so fresh. Now, if you open the box, just so you know, I've never managed to get one of these. I've always wanted one since I was a kid, ever since I first started watching Naruto. I have a kunai, yo. Obviously, it's plastic. It's a cosplaying and stuff. And it looks like an official Naruto kunai. I am now a ninja. Like, this thing is no weight at all. Like, this is so easy to, like... Like... Yeah, you can, like... You know, so light, it's so sweet, it's not even sharp at all. Like, if you throw this at someone, it's gonna hurt, but not as a sharp way, more because of momentum and velocity. <laughs> but yeah, absolutely awesome. It comes in this very really nice box, um, which is foam padded at the bottom as well, so it doesn't move that much. Uh, so yeah, you have a nice old box there. Going off weapons... The second weapon in my little gallery that I got. Um, I've always wanted one of these. Uh, Mark the Red Ranger managed to get one at one of the previous Comic Cons he went to. And so I'm so glad I got one. I have Mjolnir! This is so sick. It's made up like solid foam. Like that ain't dented. It's got some weight to it. Like you swing this, you could actually hurt someone. Um, really cool. It's even got the little thing, the little strap, because obviously Thor does swing that and throw it. I think it's life size. I think that's how big Mjolnir is actually is in the movies. Like you feel powerful wielding this. Like I love just. I'm gonna admit something to you guys. There have been times where I have been in my room by myself, all alone. And instead of masturbating, I've been pretending I'm Thor. Just snocking the fuck out of Ultron's bots or like, you know, all that jazz. It's really cool. Um, just zapping people with lightning and shit. My son has seen this. My son's watched the first Avengers. And my son's like, oh my god, can I play with Thor's hammer? And I'm like, do I let, is he worthy? Is my, is my son worthy? Let me know in the comments down below if my son is worthy to be on it. Um, I've just noticed... That we're missing something. There's still something upstairs I need to bring down, but I'll bring that down in just a second. Um, so, this, uh, I found this, um, and I checked Amazon. Literally, I'm stood in front of the guy and I checked Amazon. On Amazon, this is £99.99. pence. There's a £100 for this fucking thing. I managed to get it for 85 in Comic Con. This is one of the sickest uh, things I've bought ever. It's part of the um, McFarlane DC Multiverse collection. I think it's McFarlane, right? And uh, this is so sexy, honestly. I have the DC Multiverse, the Batman Who Laughs and Robin of Earth negative 22, or minus 22, however you want to word it. This is so fucking Cool. Like, you can see that's the Batman who laughs. Got a couple of Robins. Like, there's some, like, weapons here. And, if I rightly am correct, somewhere in the packaging, I think there's chains. Because they have hooks on their collars. So, like, this is just absolutely awesome. That's the back picture. Shows you in like chain them up and hold them. 
and things. There's a, good, a couple other characters in this lineup as well. They had Azrael from Suit of Sorrows, Bat Cycle, Batman Curse, the White Knight, the Demon, Demon Knight, Batman with Battle Damage from Dark Knight Metals, and Wonder Woman designed by Tim McFarlane. So, like, this is absolutely awesome. I'm loving this. I've got a good couple of figures from the this, you know, DC McFarlane toy line, uh, which is awesome. Loving this, these figures, and I cannot wait to get them out in a video and show you guys, because that is just going to be absolutely awesome. Um, I'm going to go get this item that I missed, because I did actually miss something. I forgot. I don't know how I forgot, because it's the longest item, and it doesn't even fit in the bag. Before I show you this last item, um, there's a couple of things that I'm not going to show you in this video. I did show off in the vlog um, that we got. There's uh, picture frames. My fiance got one of Aladdin. I got one of Joker. Um, there's these really cool LED lights that we got. Logan got one. My son got one in the shape of Jolteon. My fiance got one in the shape of Stitch. I got one in the shape of Deadpool. They're very cool. Now this has a sheath. In the anime it's from, there is no sheath. But it has a sheath. I give you Ichigo's Bonkai form of his sword. Of his Zumpak toe. So there is a sheath, so I can remove the sheath. The sheath's actually really pretty. Got some nice black ribbon acting. Put that on the side. Now this is fucking gorgeous. That's the handle there, that's the cross guard. Yeah. So all nice and red there, it's got a nice sort of chain there too, because obviously it does have a chain. And then the sword is bamboo. And this thing is a proper sword length as well. So like I can Yeah. And uh ready. Bon Kai. Uh, so this thing is absolutely stunning. I'm not gonna swing around properly, I've got a door right behind me. Um, but like, it is absolutely stunning. This thing is so dope. I swing this around too, just like me on here. Turn it into hollows and shit. Um, you know, gasoline temperature. I said that, I butchered that. Um, but yeah, this is really cool. Absolutely gorgeous. Really awesome. So, that is what I got in Comic Con in August. Um, I do have two more haul videos, one really small, really short haul video, then a couple comics, and the other one is for my birthday, which was earlier on in August, but I really wanted to get the Comic-Con haul done first. Um, so yeah, like I said, every Thursday I'm gonna be showing off some of my collectible stuff, these Naruto figures, the um, Batman who laughs on Robin figures, I'll be getting out of the boxes and showcasing them for you guys, we'll be doing videos on like reviewing the Mjolnir Hammer and things like this, but also there'll be discussion videos talking about collectibles, thing, you know, Funko Pops, uh, Power Rangers Lightning Collection which is stopped now, um, the other um, McFarlane toys, we'll be talking about retro toys and all sorts of stuff. Let me know what you guys want me to talk about, if there's any particular figures and stuff. Um, I also want to show you guys my Funko Pop collection, my Blu-ray collection, my game collection, my comic book collection, my figure collection, it goes on and on and on. That being said, thank you guys for tuning in to this video. Uh, if there's any particular topic of toy collecting, of collecting in general, you guys want me to check out, uh, talk about, then let me know and I shall see what I can do. I love you all, thank you all for tuning in, hit the like button, subscribe button, and notification bell so you guys don't miss another video, or of passion of course. I love you all and I shall see you guys in the next one. Bye!